In this example, we want to find the critical numbers for f of x equals to x to the negative 8 times the natural log of x. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of this function, then uh, we'll set it equal to 0, then solve for x. So we're going to have f prime of x equals to, okay, we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and use the, or, or apply the product rule here, okay. So we're going to have x to the minus 8 times the derivative of the derivative with respect to x of natural log of x plus natural log of x times the derivative of x to the negative 8. Okay, so that's just from the product rule. Okay, now we're going to take the derivatives of those components. So we're going to get x to the minus 8. The derivative of natural log x is 1 over the argument, in this case x. So 1 over x times the derivative of x, which is just 1. So we're going to end up getting 1 over x plus natural log of x. And then the derivative of this, of x to the negative 8, is going to be minus 8 times x to the negative 9. Okay, so just applying the power rule. All right, so from here, uh, we're going to go ahead and set this derivative equal to 0. Okay, so rewriting this, okay, uh, we have... We're going to get um, 1 over, so basically we can rewrite this as yeah, 1 over x to the ninth. Okay, so I can put the x to the negative 8 into the denominator, and therefore you have x to the 8 times x, which is x to the ninth, minus 8 times natural log x. All divided by x to the ninth. Okay, and again we're gonna we're setting this equal to zero. Okay, so we have uh, one minus this is this is equivalent to one minus eight natural log times natural log x all over x to the ninth equals to zero. Okay. So to solve for this, uh, we just need to uh, look at the numerator, okay. Or you can think of this as just multiplying both sides by x to the ninth. Okay. And so that will leave us with 1 minus 8 times natural log x equals to 0. Okay. So this is going to give us natural log of x equals to 1 eighth. Okay. All right. So we can use the exponential function to isolate x. So we're going to take the exponential of both sides, okay, so e to the natural log x equals to e to the 1 8. And so that's going to give us uh, x because e and natural log are inverse functions of each other. So this is going to give us x equals to e to the 1 8. Okay, and this is the same as, okay, right, this is equivalent to the eighth root of e. Okay. So going back here, okay, in case you're wondering, uh, we have x to the ninth in the denominator here, which says that the derivative of this, right, the derivative here is not defined at zero. However, um, in the original function, uh, zero is not in the domain, okay? So yes, it's true that, right, at x equals zero, right, the, the derivative is undefined, okay. However, back in our original function, okay, uh, the domain here, right, the domain is for x strictly bigger than zero because of we have, because of this uh, because we have natural log x here, okay? All right, so so this x equals zero, this value is not, uh, technically it's not a critical, it's not a critical number, 
Okay, so the only critical number that we get is uh, this value down here. Okay, so e to the one eighth. Okay, which is equivalent to this. All right.